Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. If you've been generating all kinds of cool AI art on either Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion or really anywhere and you want to be able to upscale it so that you can have a higher resolution version of that image, I'm going to show you how you can do it today absolutely free. You can even do batch uploads or upscales and you can even do sort of like a super upscale so that you can get a huge image. So let's jump into it. I'll show you how it works. I'll show you the app and here we go. All right, let's go ahead and jump onto the computer so I can grab some images so that I can show you how to do these upscales where you can do them one by one or you can do a batch. All right, I have a folder here of some images that need to be upscaled here. So we can see they're pretty low resolution right now. We have 768 by 512. These are a bunch of stable diffusion images. I also have some, uh, some mid journey images that are a little bit bigger. These ones were upscaled one time with the uh, mid journey upscaler there. So we have a couple of them that are like 1024 by 1024. And then we have a couple other ones that are, uh, that are a little bit uh, different dimensions there. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, open up the app and it's called Upscaler. And we're gonna go ahead and get this open. And from Upscale, you can see you have the batch upscale and you can do single upscale. Now, if you do single upscale, you can actually do a double upscale, which is basically going to upscale it and then upscale it again. So you end up with a double upscale and a very, very high resolution, large image. All right, let's start off here. We will grab a, uh, we'll grab a single image first right here. And um, actually we'll do this. Let's grab, let's just do the batch one first. So we'll grab the batch and we'll select the folder and let's go ahead and we'll scroll down and there we have our upscale samples. We'll click open and now we can go ahead and select the upscaling type. And so we have about five or six different types that we can use. I'm gonna use the first one there. That's the one that was recommended to me. That's the one that I'm gonna go ahead and recommend to you as well. Now you can select your output folder. Now I can tell you that for me, for whatever reason, it seems to only default to this same folder. And I'm not exactly sure why, but it keeps on defaulting back to this folder. And I've had a few times where I start to, to, um, to upscale and I keep getting some errors on here, but you'll see what I'm talking about if I get the same errors. I'm not sure why it's happening. Uh, before I started trying to make this video, it was working perfectly. And then as soon as I started trying to record the video, it started throwing me errors. So hopefully you don't have these errors like I'm having right now. All right, let's go ahead and we'll leave that like it is. I'm gonna go ahead and hit upscale now and it's gonna say, hold on. And this is that error that I've been getting. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click okay to get past it and it's then going to start upscaling my images here. So it's about 345 right now. We'll see how long it takes to get through. I have about 25 images in that folder, so it shouldn't take too long, but we'll see how long it takes. All right, now this is a problem that I've run into uh, since this app started giving me some issues when trying to record this video is that it seems to run through everything and then it gets stuck here. It says 97.5% and it just gets stuck right there and won't do anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and click stop and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna minimize this here. And here is the folder that it created. I'm gonna open it up here and these are my upscaled images and even though it says there was an error and it showed that it just hung up at the end there, I still, I can select them all and I can see I have all 25 of my images and they are all upscaled. So now we can see there that I have a much larger image that uh, is looking pretty good there. It's pretty nice and sharp and crisp and looking pretty good there. So. Um, and you can see the size difference there. Instead of, uh, instead of 768 by 512, we now have 3072 by 2048. So yeah. All right, now let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead back into the app right quick. And I'm gonna click out of the batch scale and go to uh, the single image, uh, the single image upscale. So I'm gonna go ahead and click select. 
And I'm gonna choose just, uh, I'll choose this first image right here and I'll go ahead and select open. And you can see there, it looks okay, but it's pretty low resolution. So it's not real, it's not like showing a lot of definition there, it's just really low resolution. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on that first model. I'm gonna choose um, right there where I'm gonna just go ahead and, uh, and let it go into the upscale samples folder and we'll click right there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and choose upscale. And you can see there, it's gonna go from 768 uh, by 512 to uh, 3072 by 2048. And now it's done and we can see the difference that it makes. We have this nice slider here. When you do it one by one, they give you this nice slider so that you can see the difference that it actually makes. And it makes a very, very big difference. It really, really does. So, all right. Let's do one more here or two more here. And uh, let's see, let's do a mid journey one. We'll grab this right here. And we are going to do a, ups, uh, a double upscale on here. And we can see this is gonna take us from 1024 by 1024 to 16, um, to 1634, uh, <laughs> 16,384 by 16,384. So this is gonna be a very, very large image. So. Let's go ahead and click upscale. It's gonna start working. It's gonna say, hold on, doing upscale magic. And it's running through the first upscale version right there, which usually is pretty fast. But then the second one is usually, it takes a little bit longer because it's having to start from a much larger image and make it into a larger image. So it's working on the second pass now. And this usually only takes just a few moments, but uh, it takes a bit longer than the first pass. All right, it is finished here and we can take a look. We have our slider ready and that is the non um, upscaled version. And now that is the upscaled version. And we can really see how much difference it makes, especially when you look at like her eyes, her eyes really just pop in the, uh, in the upscaled version. So yeah, that is, that is a very, very big difference. And this is a huge image now. This image is probably like, I don't know, this thing's probably, I mean, I'm not sure what that resolution is, but it's probably like 100 megapixels or something crazy or bigger than that. That's a big, big image. And it's gonna be, it's, and because this is a PNG image, it's also gonna be a very, very large image as far as, um, as, far as the actual size is concerned. Let's see if we can find it. I think, did it make, create a new folder again? Um, let's see. It doesn't look like it's in there. I'm not sure where, the, we'll see, here's the one. This is where this one was saved here. And this one is about uh, eight, it's about uh, 8.7 megabytes. And oh, here's the other one. Here is the double upscaled one right there. And we can see how big it is. It's 332 megabytes. That is a huge, huge file size. And you can see how long it's taking for it to open up. So but it is a very, very large image. Um, but it does, it does really do a, a excellent job of upscaling so that you can have your, your AI art in a nice large size. So if you need to make, if you really need to increase the resolution of your, uh, of your image or the size of your image, this is a way that you can do it. And you can, um, you can do it in batches. Mine's a little buggy tonight. I'm not really sure why, but it's still working. All right, quickly, let me show you where to get this. I know it's what you guys have been waiting for. This is it right here. It is upscale.org. Just go to upscale.org. It's U-P-S-C-A-Y-L.org. U-P-S-C-A-Y-L.org. And you can get this for, for a Mac, for Linux and for Windows, so you can get all kinds of uh, of great. Uh, you can put this on all your machines. You can get all kinds of great downloads. They have over 1.9 million downloads. So this is a. Uh, it's going to be a very very popular app. Right now it's free, so grab it while it's free. All right, everyone. Well, there you go. That is how you can upscale your AI art quickly and easily and you can do it in batches you can do a double upscale you can really 
really make some large images out of your AI art. So I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Just remember that for me, I was having a little buggy issue tonight. I don't know if it was just my installation or my computer or what, but hopefully you don't have those issues. I didn't have those issues at all until tonight when I started making this video. So maybe it was just the gremlins in my machine trying to monkey wrench everything up. I don't know. I don't think you'll have that problem. So download the app, give it a shot, see what you think. I'm gonna leave a link to it down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.